ByteDance has come up with yet another interesting model. This time it is Xverse, which is a new model designed for generating images with multiple subjects, addressing the common challenge of maintaining individual identity and editability. The primary goal of this model is to provide fine-grained independent control over each subject's appearance like identity and semantic attributes like pose or lighting without causing distortions or artifacts in the final stage. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to install this Xverse locally and we will test it out on various examples. If you look at the architecture of this model, it is very, very interesting, but I'm not going to spend time on this at the moment. I will first start the installation and then we will discuss it as we go. So I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me create a virtual environment with Conda and I'm creating it with Python 3.11. If you're also looking to rent a GPU, or VM or CPU on very, very affordable prices. You can find the link to mass compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. So please do check them out. I'm sure it will be helpful. Okay, let's go back. Our virtual environment is done. Next up, let's git clone the repo of Xverse and you can find the link in video's description. From there, we need to install all the prerequisites from the root of the repo with pip and that is going to take few minutes while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation all the prerequisites are now installed. Next, let's launch our Gradio demo. And the first time as you run it, it downloads a model. The model is quite huge as you can see because it is using Flex Schnell uh, at the back end. So let's see how it goes. Let's wait for it to get downloaded. While that happens, now let's talk about this architecture and how this model actually works. So if you look here, this model is primarily trying to overcome a key limitation. In many existing models, we are trying to control multiple subjects and tangles their features or degrade the overall image quality, making Xverse a significant step for personalized scenes. Now, this architecture is built upon Diffusion Transformer and introduces a unique conditioning mechanism. Instead of directly injecting reference image features into the model, which can be disruptive, Xverse uses an adapter to transform reference images into offsets. These offsets are then applied specifically to the text stream modulation for tokens corresponding to each subject. And this allows for precise control by subtly guiding the generation process through the text conditioning. And to further enhance fine grained details, the model also uses V or variational auto encoded image features in a supporting role that helps capture visual nuances without overpowering the model's core generative capabilities. So pretty good and unique. Let's wait for it, the model to get downloaded and then we will play around with it. And it is downloading a lot of models now. I'm not sure it would fit onto my 48 GB of VRAM, but anyway, I will let it run. And then if it fails uh, for out of memory, we will move on to bigger GPU to see if it works there. Okay, so it has finished downloading the model and you can see that it is now running on our local host. Let's run this. And now let's try to use it. And I'm quite uh, curious to see how much VRAM it is taking. But let's first run some uh, prompt here and then we will check out. So maybe I'll just go down, pick one of their example. And you see that as soon as I have picked the example, there is this first image with a prompt of women, the second image a hamster. And then uh, I haven't, we haven't really given it any other prompt. 
the in the third one the only thing here is a drawing of ant1 and ant2 that ant1 is entity basically is running alongside of a giant in style of a comic book and you see it has done well here so maybe i'll say in style of ghibli which is very famous these days and before i run it let's also check the vram consumption so i'm going to click on generate let's check vram consumption so it is consuming you can see over 47 gig of vram just under my 48 gb of vram just under there you go what do you think not bad not bad at all okay maybe i will just change it and select an image from my local system so i have given it my own image the prompt is a man and then click on generate let's see what it generates you already have checked the vram consumption it just stays under 48 gig of vram and there you go what do you think done okay not bad at all but what does it match with my features i'm don't, i'm not sure it has tried but you see that the hands are not that there yet it has mixed it up okay let's try a few more in the next test i'm just saying that entity one is sitting on top of giant entity two there you go yeah this one is much much better i mean it, of course it could be improved with my legs and stuff but i have just given it my um this headshot so it has done what it could there so i think this one is pretty good okay next up i have just given it a local image of a woman ai generated of course and then dress let's see yep you see now that woman is wearing that dress even because it's a gala so there are some um photographers that in the background too so pretty good pretty good of course there are some eyes could be improved and stuff but it is okay it is fine uh, okay next up i am just giving it this one of my own image another image with some curly hair and there is can and it has added added out let's i'll check it um shortly but i'm just asking it to do that this entity one is holding uh, entity one with entity two holding entity uh, entity three okay so when that happens normally what i do is i just simply reload it and then run it again i have tried multiple times but it is not working and the reason being it is out of memory you see so if you want to do the entity 3 you would have to have uh, a higher gpu than 48 gpu of vram so i don't uh, have that uh, at the moment so i'm not going to go higher up but other than that i think for two images works quite well as we just saw and you can do of course a uh, lot of things with it as i just showed you uh, your imagination is the limit here so let me know what do you think about this x verse and please like the video and share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for watching